Good day, this is Damien from Fixwing PC, and in today's video, we're going to install an Apple USB to Ethernet device into a Windows PC. Normally, it will be plug and play, but with this particular device, there's a little bit of uh, extra stuff you have to do. So let's get right into it. So the first things we have to do, uh, once we insert the adapter, you're going to get a pop-up warning. Once we insert the adapter, you're going to get that pop-up saying to set up the device. So we just have to wait for it to set up properly. And once it's set up, we will open our device manager. So in case you don't know, you just right click on the Windows key, open device manager. It should open up. Now it should give you that it's been installed, Apple USB Ethernet adapter. Now if you just try to update the driver to get it to work, all right, you would see that it will search automatically for drivers. That would fail. So also to prove that we don't have internet, you see I have my full internet here. All right, let me change my USB. Let me change my ethernet from my regular uh, port to the USB adapter. All right, so it's changed. Let me open... Uh, ping window. Uh, let's keep this a little bit lower down here. Uh, we're just going to ping Google, right? And nothing, right? Uh, let's do a continuous ping, actually. Alright, so while we're getting a bunch of nothing, let's start to get this working so we can actually get something. Alright? So, first things first, oh, and also, let's, uh, just to confirm that, you know, this is not any trickery, you know, you always have to prove everything these days, let's open the control panel, let's go to uh, network and sharing, let's go to change adapter settings, and you would see that Ethernet cable is unplugged, unplugged all right so everything's unplugged all right nothing's happening nothing's going on all right we'll get back to this in a minute let's close that let's close this all right so what you want to do is actually you're going to want to go to a website i will leave a link in the description it's going to be asics.com you're going to go to asics.com, you're going to go to download, and you're going to come to this section. In this section, it's going to have software and tools. All right, you know, click to expand it, and you're going to go down to drivers. In the drivers section, it's going to take you to industrial and all this here. You're going to choose USB Ethernet ICs. All right, and in this section now, you're going to select the uh, AX. 88772C USB 2.0 to 10100 fast Ethernet controller with Microsoft AOAC support. When you select that, it's going to carry down to these options. These options are the actual drivers. So, seeing that we're dealing with Windows, we're going to download one for Windows. So, for Windows, you have a few options. So, let's scroll up a bit. So, you have options all the way down to Windows 7, but we, we have a Windows 10. And we're going to, my our device is Windows 10 64 bit, so we're going to download this one. Now, I've already downloaded this. All right, so once you uh, are ready to download it, you will download it. And you will get a zip file. The zip file will look like this, this one here. But when you extract it, it will come to a little folder like this. You extract it to a folder for, for ease. And you open the folder, you see these files. So once these files are there, you have you have successfully downloaded and extracted the right uh, drivers. All right. So now, how do we put this to use? All right. So now we go back to Device Manager and we right-click on this device and you select Update Driver. Now we're going to go to Browse My Computer for Drivers. And we're not going to select this one up here. We're going to go Let Me Pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. You're going to leave it at show all devices and select next after that we're not going to it's not going to retrieve a list you're just going to select have disk 
and when this pops up we're going to take that half this section and the part that says copy manufacturers files from this is where you browse to that download file so on this one it might it might pop up at some different folder you go downloads you go to this folder where you have your driver and this one will present itself you select that one open you hit OK and now it'll open a list of drivers you select the first one and hit next all right and you just read the warning and select yes it now begins installing the drivers so now that the drivers have successfully installed you will close this this will reload and now you will see a network adapter has been added all right so see now the network has been added let's check see what exactly has been added so we'll go back to this there you go there's a fifth ethernet that was not there before and now it has the a6 name and all that let's check on the status the status it's running fast ethernet this is the speed 100 megabits per second all right it's enabled it has internet all right now let's check on our pings we are getting pings we've been getting pings for a minute too so there you go we are getting pings this is from all the times out before it timed out before all right so we're getting pings now let's let's stop it and see how far back we go all right so you see uh, this where we started we were not getting anything and then boom we get good contact all right let's close this all off it's there close that there and this is here all right so that has been how to install a Apple USB to Ethernet adapter into a Windows machine. Thank you for your time and thank you for viewing and I hope you learned something today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and keep the channel going. So till then, 